The army is a force that defends the country against all external threats and aggression. A force that works untiringly so that around 1 billion Indians can carry on pursuing their dreams safely and securely. army from the inside. The Indian Army, the world's second largest standing army in terms of active manpower, is also India's largest defense force. With around 11 lakh soldiers in active service and about 10 lakh reserve troops, it is also the largest volunteer army in the world. You die with Nishchev. That is, into battle with resolve. It has extreme operational versatility, guarding around 3.3 million square kilometers of geographical area. The Indian Army can hold its ground in all possible terrains and weather conditions, be it the plains, deserts, mountains, snow-capped peaks or dense jungles. I joined this organization for the adventure part of it, the action part of it, which I am getting and I'm, I keep striving to get it more and more. Life in the army has been one great learning experience. It's very challenging. It is very difficult. Somebody has to do it and I'm glad that I'm doing this job. The Indian Army serves the country not just as an armed force, it has many faces. It provides aid during natural calamities, responds to threats to the country's internal security, upholds secular values, and is home to several athletes who have brought laurels to the country in competitive sports. Since childhood, I've been motivated by the flaunting uniforms and the salutes and whatever is associated with the army. I feel motivated when I go and interact with my friends. I feel respected. Being in the army to me means sense of pride and confidence in myself that I'd always wanted. People look at him in such a manner where they consider him to be a very disciplined man. The leadership qualities which are developed over time and the confidence has it's taken me somewhere else. I cannot relate to any other job I would have done anywhere in this world. Our horse has challenged all mountains. Now they don't challenge us. They are friendly to us. Nat Geo takes you into this force that nurtures daredevils like these. There's nothing known as a mountain. There's nothing known as a river. Men and women who are forever ready to go beyond their own limits and let their spirits soar high in the limitless sky. मुश्किल तो होता है सर लेकिन हिम्मत और हौसला नहीं छोड़ना चाहिए हिम्मत और हौसले से आगे का कुछ नहीं है Men and women who put their nation before everything else Be it even if it means to the peril of his life if he has to die if your task is allotted that okay he knows i'm going to die but he still goes ahead and still fights that is what makes army man We often call them Desh ke rakshak The modern Indian Army's foundations were laid in the early 16th century. The
the present day Indian Army came into being when India gained independence on the 15th of August 1947. was thrown into a war with Pakistan within just 10 weeks of its formation when Pakistani forces invaded parts of the border state of Jammu and Kashmir on October 26, 1947. The Zozila War Memorial is a silent witness to the Indian Army's recapture of the Himalayan Pass in 1948. In April 1948, the hostile had planned and carried out a well-coordinated operation of capturing Kargil and Dras. The great central Indian trade route lay open to the enemy. At this time, one of the Indian Army's battalions was rushed to hold the Zuzila Pass. Any infantry assault against well-dug enemy bunkers overlooking the pass would mean heavy casualties. And so came the birth of an idea that first seemed impossible that of taking armor up to Zuzila Pass and making it spearhead the front. To attack and capture there as soon as possible. No words can do justice to the unique skill and resourcefulness of the men who built the road up to the pass. In a memorable action that started one morning, in the face of a driving blizzard, tank armor for the first time appeared at 10,000 feet above sea level. Having achieved complete surprise, the tanks opened up major fire at enemy positions and forced the enemy to run in all directions. By morning, small pockets of enemy were surrounded with no hope of escape. This operation could not have succeeded without the relentless daring of the fighting men. The Indian Army has since fought two more full-fledged wars with Pakistan in 1965 and again in 1971. December 16th is celebrated as Vijay Divas or the Day of Victory every year. It was on this day in 1971 that the Commander-in-Chief of East Pakistan, General A.A.K. Niazi surrendered before the Indian Army, paving the way for the birth of a new nation. Bangladesh. Led by battle-hardened military veterans, the successes of the Indian Army can be safely attributed to its professional leadership. Our motto is in IMA, which uh, Field Marshal Chetwood gave, the welfare and honor of your country comes first always and every time. Welfare of your men comes next and your own welfare comes last always and every time. So what does it take to don this uniform? Become an officer and lead men who'll do anything at just one command of their superiors. Motivation. A feeling of nationalism and pride for the nation. integrity, care for moral values that the army has. And you require a feeling of altruism for the organization.